we are in the middle of the strangest Holy Week that any of us will ever know. In a normal year, we would be preparing to gather in St Andrews tomorrow evening for the Eucharist of the Last Supper and the foot washing. Reverend Karen and I will have travelled to Litchfield Cathedral to renew our ordination vows and receive the holy oils. Messy Easter would be all prepared for Good Friday, a morning of activity to be followed by an afternoon and then evening of quiet contemplation at the foot of the cross. We would be anticipating gathering together outside St Barnabas on the evening of Holy Saturday in anticipation of the glorious pronouncement of the Resurrection during the Easter Vigil. But none of that will be happening this year. We are walking the journey of Holy Week in a very different way. The reading at morning prayer on the Monday of this week speaks into how so many of us must be feeling right now. Listen to these words from the first chapter of the book of Lamentations. How lonely sits the city that once was full of people. How like a widow she has become, she that was great among the nations. She weeps bitterly in the night with tears on her cheeks. She has no one to comfort her. The roads to Zion mourn, for no one comes to the festivals. All her gates are desolate, her priests groan, her young girls grieve, and her lot is bitter. All her people groan as they search for bread. They trade their treasures for food to revive their strength. Luke, O oh Lord, and see how worthless I have become. Is it nothing to you, or you who pass by? Look and see if there is any sorrow like my sorrow. Do those words resonate? They were written somewhere around the year 587 BC, when Jerusalem was sacked by the Babylonians and the temple destroyed. Historical scholars believe that people gathered on the ruins of the temple to mourn, and these words surely arose from that experience of standing on the site of a much-loved place of worship that was no more. The reaction to such devastation is completely natural. Lament, for this is what it is, rarely finds a place in Christian worship today. And yet there are times when lament is the only appropriate response. Many of the Psalms are full of lament, either an individual screaming out at the situation they find themselves in, or a communal lament, much like this one, in which the whole nation is crying out to God, hear our prayer. Lament too is what Jesus will cry out on the cross in two days' time. The words that this passage from Lamentations ended with, look and see if there is any sorrow like my sorrow, are used in Christian prayer during this time of Passion Tide. Jesus will add his own words of lament when he quotes Psalm 22, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? We are in the middle of Holy Week. Easter is coming. The temple will be rebuilt. Jesus will rise again. But not yet. Now is the time to lament and weep and mourn. 
it is okay to lament our separation from friends and family. It is okay to weep for those who are dying and for families who will attend funerals with great restrictions. It is okay to mourn for what we have lost this Holy Week. As we walk with Jesus the way of the cross this week, remember that Jesus walks with us too, lamenting, weeping and mourning. And remember that Easter is coming. As Her Majesty said on Sunday evening, while we may have more still to endure, better days will return. We will be with our friends again. We will be with our families again. We will meet again. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.